Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today we're going to be installing security cameras around our house. So I'm going to start straight away. I've looked around, I've got a garage. So I'm thinking the first thing that needs to be done is just scouting around where should a camera go. So I reckon if I put one over there, I'll have a nice vantage point of this door. And maybe if I put one over there, I'll get kind of another vantage for the other side. You can always put someone there pointing that way. There's loads of different places you can place these cameras. So I'm going to start. I think that is the place I'm going to start with. So. Over here, we got a, a nice gutter. We can always affix the camera too and we'll drill a hole through and that'll get us access to the attic and hopefully be able to run the cables through that way. So that's the idea, that's the theory. Next, we need to test it out. So I'm gonna go into the garage. And over here, I've got my NVR. This is the recorder for all the security cameras. I've got the 16 port version. I've also got a video on how I set it up, connected to my Mac, connected to my router for Wi-Fi and all that kind of stuff, securely. So check that guy out if you're interested in knowing how to set it up and not the install. But now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab one of these long cables that came with the pack. I'm gonna plug it into the camera. Then I'm gonna affix some tape so I can temporarily see, get a preview of the angle that it's gonna end up with. Because although, if you check out the marketing material, it says ultra wide, wide view and angle, all that stuff, in real life, it's not that wide. So it's good to scout it out yourself, see how it looks like. Now that's set up, I'm gonna take my ladder over to the spot. Now you just need to place it at your desired location. And the good thing about this camera at least is the whole box spins. It all spins so you can adjust the angle later. So I'm guessing I want it pointing something like this, this kind of angle. And I've also brought up my smartphone because I've got this guy connected to my router. Again, check out the setup guide video to find out how to do that. And I've also got it running for a firewall so it doesn't go ahead and start accessing the internet. But just be a bit mindful because it is just duct tape holding this guy up so you don't have that much time to check out the angle. So I'm firing up the real link app at the moment. And I can see myself on the app. So I'm just going to see if that is the angle that works for me. If you're having no luck pointing one certain direction, you can always let it go and adjust it when it's not constrained to the plate. So I'm constantly checking the angle here as I spin to get the right shot. That's looking good. So I'm just playing around with the shot and I decided to move the camera just a little bit back. Two reasons. One, even though symmetrically it looks nicer here on the plans, I find that when it's hidden a bit behind this wall, it's less visible. Now it's up to you if you want your cameras visible or not. It's good to have them visible because it scares people away. But it's also not good having them visible because it makes your place look like a prison. So that's something to consider. I reckon mine looks nicer when it's a bit hidden away. So I'm gonna go for this angle here. But before I actually place it, I'm actually gonna go into the attic to see if I can access that place. So. Put this down for now and let's go into the attic. So one of the different ways to access the attic. One way is if you have an access panel, you can just go up there. I'll be doing that way. Alternatively, for my other roof, which I don't have an access panel for, you can get in by actually moving the tiles Obviously everyone's house is different, but you can move the tiles and go in through the roof that way, like Santa Claus, chimney style. I'm gonna be going up using the access panel. Now, it does get dusty up there, so uh, I'm being forced to wear PPE. Also got a nice bright light, so I can see what I'm doing up there. Alongside it, I've got a second torch, just in case I need it. Just 
put in a light. Now be careful because there is running electricity cables up here. So I'll try to be safe and mindful. All right, so this is the attic of the garage. If you look down, there's little planks of wood. You wanna be walking on the planks of wood and try distributing your way over multiple planks. Like so. If you look around here, the corner I wanna to get to is over there. So I'm gonna be doing some crawling. It gets really tight around the edges so right now. I don't know if you can see, but I'm going to the corner here. And the piece I actually want to get is over there in that little panel there. So I can see some sort of access pipeline. The problem is it's hard to see where the cable is going to come through because that's I'm not going to fit in through here. Oh no, that's what I'm not gonna be able to fit there. So this is why we're gonna be using something called fish tape. So I'm in the corner. It looks like it's pretty clear. And if you're interested, these little drops alongside the walls, that's where the bricks are. So there is a cavity. So you can pass wire up through. So now I'm gonna go back outside, drill a hole, and see if I can get some fish tape through to know if I can connect the wires up. One thing I gotta say, it's pretty scary when looking down, so make sure you put your ladder straight. You ready? That was a worthwhile exercise because even though I couldn't get to the gutter of the garage, it was still good because I saw that the gutter was connected to the attic. So it means if I did use the fish tape, I should be able to feed the wire through. What I was concerned about is if there was some obstacles in the way that would stop me through, but it looks like there isn't just bits of wood. So we'll go back outside and we'll drill a pilot hole now and see if we can fish some wire through. So the biggest drill piece I have is this one. And uh, I guess this one I'm gonna use and I can always make it bigger when I'm up there. Hey guys, just a quick update for this install that I showed you. Now, um, that was the first time I was installing security cameras, so I made a few mistakes of it the long way around. The second time I did it, I installed another one just over there. I learned a few things, and that is, use a spade bit. It's a lot more convenient because you get it nice and wide. You don't have to use that drilling situation I did. Just put a spade bit, spin it around, and it makes a nice big hole for it. I used a 22, and that was good. Secondly, secondly, you can't always place the cameras where you'd love them to be. There's something called joists, and that is pieces of wood that are just randomly located across the beams of the garage. So there was actually one there, which I started drilling into, and it's just a plank of wood. So I filled it up, I probably filled it up, I'm gonna paint it off. I'm gonna paint it afterwards and make it look flush. But I had to install the security camera slightly further forward to avoid that piece of wood. It's called a joist. So here's a stud finder, pretty good. And you use it and it tells you where the joists are. Cool. I gotta say it was hella fun clawing around the attics. I do recommend you guys to have a play, but you know, at your own, risks don't blame me for it but i hope you found this video useful and uh yeah yes yeah, it's, it's fun it's fun and uh, i love having cameras i don't know why it's just fun I can't, i'm just recording my escapades the amount of staring i do don't know what i'm talking about jump back perfect so to make my life slightly easier i've got one of these lasers and it's just shooting up a straight line along that cove. Just 
just to lay in it, so I'm happy. So I've just adjusted the line so it's completely symmetrical with the existing wall. You see a nice green line, and that's where I'm going to put the hole. Okay, now I've got my measuring tape. I'm just going to measure to the precise point in the middle. So this cavity is 31 centimeters, so it's about 15 and a half is what I'm looking for. So around there is where I'm going to be drilling. Slight pressure. You can kind of feel the hole emerging. I'll just take a look and then I'll push through. Almost there. There you go, you can see it pumping through. We're gonna make it bigger. But, whew, pumped straight through. <laughs> so we've got a tiny hole there. So eventually, we wanna be getting a hole big enough to fit slightly bigger than this cable. And this is in it. So maybe I should make it wider. You make a bigger hole. Yeah. Do you have a bigger one? All right, that bit. Fits in, probably good enough to start testing it out. It does need to be slightly bigger for the water protection, but let's just get the show on the road. All right, so I got me some fish tape over here. Now, it's uh, it's not the best, but it's cheap as chips. The problem with this fish tape is that it's very um, coily, I'll show you. So it likes to go in circles, but I've got 25 meters of it, so I'm just gonna put through as much as possible and hopefully I'll be able to, I'll be able to and hopefully I'll be able to find it when I get around to the other side. through enough hopefully I'll be able to find it I'm just gonna coil it here just lock it in position while I go upstairs good luck yeah I can't seem to see it Yeah, I see it. <laughs> All right, so the fish tape that we got, is very coily. So it's just coiling along the pole. I do see it with my eyes, so that's good. So all I need is a hook to just pull it through or proper fish tape. So previously I've been using this sapphire fish tape. And the problem with this guy is it really coils up. Let me just give you an example. straight up it's not rigid so it may have worked for areas like these parts where it's a bit of an open cavity straight into the attic but for this corner here where all the 
the planks of wood, they're really cross-sectioning up. It's, uh, I couldn't find a way to fish this through. This one's probably best for running it through conduit. On this side here, I've got, this is fiberglass fish tape, and it's really rigid, you can see here. It's nice and wide and thick. So you get two ends of this one. One is completely flat, and the other one is for good for pitching up walls. It has little wheels to help you climb cavities. I guess I'll just start off with the straight one because I don't need the weedy feature. So I guess now I'm going to go around the other end and see if I can find it. Can you pull it back out? Get it out? Yeah, I just want to see if I can find it. Sorry? Um, just out. Yeah, gone. Alright, now put it in. Slowly. Slowly gone. Okay, keep on going. Keep on going. So it's just over there. Keep on going. All right. So it's just, I don't know if you can see that, but it's just over in that corner there. Keep going. Huh? Keep going. All right. Yeah, yeah, keep going. It's right there. Keep going. So there's the wire. It's true. Perfect. Got it. Alright, there it is. But yeah, we've got the wire here. So now I'm gonna get me some cable and see if I can pull it back through. Sorry, I got it. I got it, Kalas. All right, I've tied the cable to the fish tape right at the end. So now we're just gonna pull this back and hopefully we'll get this on the event. I'm just gonna put it back. Friend theory. Friend theory. A bit tight, a bit tough. It does get a bit stiff, so I'm just easing it out. I think it's stuck. All right, so again. Oh, what's that? Pull it out. Get some. Get some. Alright, perfect. Managed to fish, fish it through so we can get rid of this now. It's fun. I was like reaching in Indiana Jones style. Next up, we're just gonna mount the plate onto the wall since I've got the cable right here. My first time. Pretty happy about it. Look how happy you are. 
How do you I'm feel? I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for you. The first time we did it, we can even see the fish tape. Now it's here. I'm so, so happy. So in the pack, you get lots of screws and screw holders. If you actually just look at the piece, okay. it actually tells you that this one's a six by 30. So I'm on drill bit number six, and I um, have a good feeling about this one. Plate, pop it on. Perfect. Get a screw. Screwdriver. It looks like I've installed the face plate a bit back to where the hole is. So I'm just going to make that hole slightly bigger. out once again hopefully it'll work this time plug that in feed it through all right that fed through and it should lock in perfect that should lock in so there's just one more thing to do with this cabling we did that hey you are a star Okay, so according to the instructions, this pack comes with a waterproofing kit. Now, the instructions, they show the cable cut and they also give you new RJ45s to recrimp the situation. But I've actually been playing around with this and uh, just check this out. So first up, so you get a rubber washer and you gotta put that along the existing connection on the camera. That sealant. Then you get two ends over here and another piece of rubber. And this rubber, even though it looks completely symmetrical, it does actually open up. There's a slight slit in it. It might be sticky when you first get it, but it does open up, so just remember that. So get a cable, feed that through. Then we get the rubber, open it up, and put it on this side. So you got the connection piece, the rubber, and then finally, you get this tool and you feed the cable through. And connect it up. Now, if you made a mistake and you wanna undo it, this doesn't actually easily fit back up through. But you can get it through. You just get a flat screwdriver and you just need to tag on this bit because it gets stuck or on these pieces. So as long as you do that, you can get it out. I've done it before. But since I'm confident with this, I'm just gonna connect it up. You attach these two pieces together. This screws in. And then you push the rubber forwards to the back. Push it as far in as you can. then push the back piece and screw in. So you got two pieces of rubber, rubber here, rubber here. It should make it more water sealed. Of course, refer to the official documentation because the official documentation show the cut cord. Managed to fit it through, so I'm happy with that. I'm gonna finally push this through. Hopefully it'll work. That was fun, isn't it? That was great fun, yeah. well done. It looks like a professional install. Have you done so well? How much should I pay you for this?
Hey, do you reckon it'll fit? Yeah. Nice wet. Oh, that was nice. That was nice. How pleasing is that to see, finally? <laughs> Oh my gosh, well done. Oh, look you. at that. Well done, you guys. Fit all the way through. Well done. Do a nice little clean. Now, some tips. Plugged in. Now, some tips. I'm not going to do this yet because I still want to play around with the angle, spin it around. But in case you don't know, you can easily unscrew it. Anyone can easily just come up to your camera and unscrew it if they don't like it. Of course, you'll get them the footage of them unscrewing it. So perhaps consider putting sticky tape or some super glue, something to keep it stuck on there once you're happy with the position. That's the angle. Oof. Look at that. I'm proud of you, babe. I am so freaking proud of you. This is like the best thing, like honestly. I'm so proud of you. Why? I'm so proud. Because you you managed to do it. Look how gorgeous it is. It's flush, it looks good. You did that all by yourself, well done. You did it by yourself, well done. That was like, for Ash, this was like the hardest thing. He's been putting this off for the past one and a half months. The box has been sitting in his room for one and a half months. And he's been planning out what he's gonna do, what he's gonna do, and finally, and he was so worried about getting into the attic, so worried about making holes. And now look at, look at that beautiful admiration of, of well done. Absolutely well done. All right, two things. I didn't do it by myself. You don't have to bait me up. You don't have to bait me out about being no, nervous didn't, about this. Get, um, you didn't get anybody to help you. Yeah, they wanted to charge me like a grand. So I said, forget that, I'll do it myself. I still might need help for the rest of the, the situation. At least I'll get a couple of going. But we're not done yet. I know. Because, why? why? Because we haven't obviously seen the picture. <laughs> well, we got the cable up there. We got the camera connected there. Well, we don't have the connection back to our NVR. So let's do that right now. Now I could just extend it out and plug it in. I could just do that. But what I want to do is I want to go through the walls. So I can use the fish tape, place the cable along this wall and put it back down through there, push the fish tape through, cut a hole in the plasterboard and then I've got a nice connection. But I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to be putting my NVR and you need to be a bit strategic about where you put your NVR because if a criminal comes in, as soon as they nab the NVR, they have all of the footage. So you want to put it in a place to give you maybe a minute or two enough time for you to upload the video files to a backup cloud so you actually have the evidence of the break-in. So uh, I'm still figuring out where I'm going to put the NVR. So for now, I'm going to use the existing holes in the wall cavity to connect to the NVR. So over here, I've got an air conditioning pipe and there's a nice already existing pipe where a conduit is going through. So there should be enough space for me to get my um, RJ45 cable over into the inside of the attic. So I'm gonna go up there one more time. I'm gonna fish this wire through. Should be easy, because it's a big, big cavity there, and it should just pop through there. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. <clears throat> up again. Yeah, so the cavity's just there. So I'm gonna get the wire nice and tight, as much of it as I can, and then I'm gonna just push it down this pipe. And you should see it coming through on the underside. Keep going. Not as you. Yeah, I can't see it yet. <laughs> Alright, so the fish tape is just over here. Get it out. Now that I've got that out, I can just tie this cable to the fish tape with some duct tape and uh, should be good. Good job. Alright. It looks like there isn't any more slack. That's the cable that I've got. I think in a future run, I'm going to be replacing these cables with Cat 6 better cables and I'll be crimping them myself. This is just a preliminary round and of course, once I figure out where the NVR is, I'll be running it precisely where it is. But for now, let's plug her in, or him in, or them in, and see if we have that beautiful connection that we were after.
bum should be in. Now, I'm gonna go on my phone and go outside and play. <gasps> shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. It just takes a few seconds, so it's loading the stream. Boom, we got it right there oh. on the screen. So I'm gonna go play and fine tune it. I got pure fence, so I won't see if someone's trying to climb over. I don't really want to see that, but I guess I'll see them if they do climb over. More importantly, I'll get a bit of the, the grass, got a bit of the driveway, I got a bit of the pedestrian gate. So I've got nice coverage, and hopefully I'll get myself um, digging up these roots. I kind of want to do a time lapse of me playing with the garden. Now, what's next? I've got coverage up to here from that wide angle. So next up, I think I'm going to be placing one over here on this angle so I can get this field in front of me. Now this setup is going to be a little bit trickier because I don't actually have an access panel to get up there so I'm going to actually be getting my ladder going up there, removing the tiles, jumping in through the ceiling, getting the wire through there and then finding a way to fish it through, maybe going to the, the actual roof attic and uh, connected to the MVR so that's going to be a fun project so make sure you hit subscribe and uh, stay tuned for that one if you like. Hope you guys found this tutorial video on how to wire up your security camera setup. I'm surprised it actually worked. It took me a lot longer first time around, but I'm sure in the second episode and the second time I do it, it's gonna be a lot quicker. But at least it's working. And we even water, water sealed it, so it's fun. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. I just wanna to say to the world that I'm very proud of this young man who has taken it upon himself to remove himself from his comfort zone of typing in computer nerding to actually making holes in walls and feeding through networking. I, this is something that you've really wanted to do for such a long time. I'm so excited to be on this journey with you. Congratulations and well done. I'm not finished because I need to get some silicon and uh, tidy up Yeah, the but holes. the fact that it actually works is like... You're surprised. <laughs> yeah. She's surprised. <laughs> I'm surprised it works. Well done. There you go. Proud of you, baby. So proud of you. <laughs> I'm so proud. Please, if you jump on me, I'll catch you. Come on, just jump, I'll catch you, I promise you. It's alright, come Whoa. on. Please, Ashraf, please don't, please don't. Whoa. Please, Ashraf, don't, my heart. Oh. Please, Ashraf, oh my god, oh my god, Ashraf, no, don't play with me.